Hello, I'm Chris Ely. Here's a quick video just to let you know the cleaning products I use frequently. Number one, what I use the most every day on all different kinds of surfaces is dishwashing liquid. And I try to find the most environmentally friendly one. This one's made by a company called Frosch. Uh, they're German and apparently it's those their best-selling product, at least for environmental cleaners. So dishwashing liquid is universal, even in the laundry, the bathroom, great for cutting grease, um, great as a simple soap so solution. And um, if you get the environmentally friendly ones, sometimes they're not as powerful as, as some of the ones with more chemicals in them, but certainly something I use every day. Another one is a pH balance cleaner, which is neither alkaline nor acidic, so it's not going to destroy any surfaces, especially if you have things like natural stone, marble. Um, this also is supposedly non-toxic. It's a game by the same company. Um, I've used other ones. Uh, this is a concentrate, this bottle will last you, depending on how big your home is, probably a year or two. Um, and I do use this. You can put it in a spray gun, put it in a bucket. Um, anyway, it's uh, easy to use and clean toilets with it, clean sinks with it, paint work, all manner of things. When I need acid, I use vinegar. Vinegar, this is about Five, this is 5% uh, acidity, they're usually 4 or 5% acidity. You don't need to buy anything that's brand name. This is just a simple generic type. White vinegar because it's not going to stain anything with any color. And this is of course good for glass. Uh, a lot of people like to mix these two for cleaning their drains. Uh, and. Uh, you know, I clean surfaces down, it will kill bacteria, uh, and this is a good all-around cleaner. Maybe a little bit on the, I'm not sure all the ingredients in this, but Barkeeper's Friend, this is the regular. They also do another one that's specifially formulated for stainless steel. And what we're looking for is the main ingredient, which is oxalic acid, which you'll find in rhubarb and other vegetables. And oxalic acid is very good for cleaning stainless steel, but you can clean sinks. Um, I use this on my enameled sink. It gets rid of uh, lime scale, and it, it's also good for soap scum. Just a myriad of uses for that. Last on the list, is I don't use this as frequently, but because I don't really believe in abrasives. When I use um, this cleaning, the, the barkeeper's friend, I tend to let it dissolve and then I let the oxalic acid do the work rather than scrubbing hard on things. I don't, once you put scratches in things, they just become, they, well, number one, they don't look so good. And then the other thing is they are harder to clean afterwards because they will catch dirt. If I need an abrasive, quite often I'll use a tiny bit of this. I have Corian um, countertops at home, and if I get pen marks or wine stains, this very easily, very gentle wipe with a soft cloth, and this usually takes it out. Good for deodorizing. I also dissolve this in warm water to wipe out the inside of my refrigerator. It's a food stuff, it's not toxic. I certainly wouldn't put this in my refrigerator and I don't have to rinse so hard as I would as if I'd used a soap. So usually I use a baking soda dissolved in water. So this is what I use frequently. There are other things, we'll keep adding them as we make more videos. There are some speciality cleaners, metal cleaners, silver cleaners and so on and so forth. But basically you could say on a daily basis I will use these, occasionally I will use this, and occasionally I will use the baking soda. 
I hope you enjoy this video. I think you'll find the direction I'm going towards is more about environmentally friendly in the home. And um, please leave any comments below and uh, visit the website where I'll have written material on each of these products so you can see exactly where I'm using them and we'll introduce some more and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.